practice. All right, we're here with David Arkin from Missouri State. David, I'm not gonna lie, you're a big dude. I'm standing right next to you. How big a dude are you? Uh, I'm a little little under six four, just a little under six five, just a smidge, and then I'm about three oh five. Okay, all right. They got you at six five three oh two. That's pretty close. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah. All right. So you've started thirty three consecutive games. Yep. Got got those under my belt. So. Have you been able to stay healthy, stay on the field, and play that early in your career? Um, you know, I took my redshirt year and I kind of learned the offense, learned about everything, and you know, I got the opportunity to start when I was a freshman. And, you know, I just try and play hard every game and staying healthy. I mean, you don't really always stay healthy, but you just kind of play through it. But you play through it. Yeah. Talk about the difference between hurt and injured. People I mean, like to talk about that. You know, you're always hurt, but you know, it takes it takes, it's going to take a little more to get injured. So. What's the worst hurt that you've played with? Not injury, but but being banged up. Uh, you know, I've yeah you know, twisted the ankle and you know mangled the thumbs and. You know, I've, I've done a lot of that kind of stuff, but I've fortunately never really been injured. I've never torn anything, broken anything like that. But. Yeah. Talk about playing on the offensive line. You guys get no respect generally, no yeah. cool individual stats or anything like that, yeah. but why do you like it? You know, it's fun. It's it's almost like it's not, you know, even really, because when people think about football, they think about throwing it around stuff like that. I mean, it's to me, it's almost like a completely different sport when you're playing on the offensive line because, you know, it's it's more like sumo wrestling or like ultimate fighting because you get you can get away with a lot of stuff and you can you know you can you can, you can do a lot of different stuff. So I mean, it's that's why I like it because I can't. I'm not athletic enough to really play football. But <laughs> they let me on the offensive line. Well, so. They don't let you carry the ball. You have no, no move. No, no moves. No, I got I got nothing. I, I'm not fast. I don't let me. You know, it's just, I don't have a spin move, so. <laughs> that's good. That's that's good. David Arkin joining us. So Phil Steele, little football guru, has n- named you the number one offensive guard. Are you gonna play guard or are you gonna play tackle? Uh, I mean, I've you know, I'm playing tackle in college this year, but uh, you know, I mean, that's what he feels like. I'm not gonna argue with him. <laughs> what do you like better, playing inside or outside like that? You know, I like it's you know it's a lot of the same stuff. It's just a little bit different technique, but. You know, I'll play either one, whichever one, you know, yeah. I feel like I can help the team. Are you going to play left tackle? Yeah. Have left you seen tackle. the blind side? <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I haven't seen the movie. I read the book. Oh, impressive. Yeah, yeah. Impressive. Are you a well-read dude? Um, You know, I read a little bit. Okay. I really, I enjoyed the book. I don't know, the yeah. movie. The movie looked kind of, you know. Don't tell, don't tell anyone. It was yeah, good. It was. It was. Yeah. I, it's just as cheesy as you think it was, yeah. but it just got me. I mean, I like Sandra Bullock, so I'm mean, sure. to check it out. But. For sure. Do you read other Michael Lewis books, or was that just you know, a football I've, thing? I, I'd like to read Moneyball. And, yeah. You know, I think he's got a new one out about the, the stock market. I don't remember. Yeah. Right. yeah. I'd like to read that. You <laughs> You know that. Yeah, for sure. I don't always, always have time. <laughs> yeah, that, that's definitely. So, all right, so we talked about offensive linemen don't have glamorous stats, but Rick Kindhart, yeah. the SID, has pointed out numerous times about your knockdown. Said that last season you had 71 knockdowns. So take us through how good it feels to just paste someone. <laughs> oh, man, that's the best part. You know, you get somebody maybe that doesn't see you or, you know, something like that. It's just it's one of the best feelings in the world. Yeah, it feels real good, though. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, it's better than you know, almost anything I've yeah. experienced. All right, so obviously you do that, and then do you just move on to the next? I mean, you're just looking to crush, right? <laughs> yeah, no, you just, I mean, you know, you look one every play. You know, there's some plays, you know, you're pass protecting. You can't really, you know, be aggressive like that. But if you can if you can knock somebody down, that's, that's you know, the ultimate goal playing offensive line. Right. So with this whole well-read thing, you're obviously proving that offensive linemen are some of the smartest guys on the team. Is that true? Uh, I, you know, I think uh, – I think that's generally the case. We got some pretty smart guys. I mean, not all of them are road scholars, but you know, I think generally that would be a safe assumption. Right? Yeah. All right. Construction management. Yep. Is that's the degree. So, what exactly does that even mean? Uh, you know, you uh, actually did my internship this summer. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of fields you can go into. You can be a supervisor. You can be a project manager. You can go into sales. You know, there's a lot of different options, but. Okay. Okay. Are you good with your hands? Have you done a lot of construction in your life? You know, I, I, I can, I know enough to be dangerous. I guess you could say like that. <laughs> Have you built anything that you can hang your hat on? No, I haven't. You know, I haven't. Well, I mean, nothing major. I, come on, give us something. Like what? Like a hat rack or something? Come on, come on. No, you know, I, 
you could uh, walk in the house and you know see some of the some of my handiwork, I guess. Okay. Okay. Very cool. So give us the whole media day boring season prospectus. I mean, why are you guys going to be successful? Uh, you know, we got uh, a lot of seniors and a lot of uh, experienced guys coming back, and you know, they're talented guys. So I think that's why we're everyone talks about the offense what makes the offense so good is it the combination of having someone experienced like Cody and yourself you know you got Cody who's been who's been starting four years and we got a lot of guys up front that have experience we got talent in the wide receivers and running backs so yeah. Yeah, that's, that's something to be excited about very good so what's next for you after football uh, you know I'm not sure I finished school in uh, December so yeah. I'm gonna graduate and see what happens. You can try to play at the next level. I mean, uh, can yeah, that happen? You think? It'd be nice. I mean, I'm not gonna count on. I'm just gonna graduate here and see what my options are. Yeah, very good. David Arkin, thanks so much for joining yeah. us, man. Really appreciate it. No good problem. luck to you. Yep.